Now, Steelers wide receiver Martavis Bryant was drafted as wide receiver 26 before the year, and through seven weeks of the season, he's wide receiver 58. It's actually tied for 100th in the NFL in receptions, along with fellow 2017 fantasy bust so far Terrell Pryor and his little-used teammate, the outlaw Jesse James. That's the bad news. But hey, I'm a positive silver lining kind of guy, so here's the good news. Bryant is leading the entire NFL in trade requests, making him the highest-ranked player in PPTR leagues. In the off chance you are not in a PPTR league, you may be considering moving on from Bryant yourself. Bryant's still owned in 77% of ESPN.com leagues and by 100% of teams named the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin said yesterday, that's going to stay the case no matter how many dumb things the talented receiver puts on social media or mysteriously timed illnesses he endures. Quote, we've invested a lot in Martavis since he was drafted, since we drafted him, right? He's not available via trade. We've invested a lot. End quote. Again, that's Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin on Martavis Bryant. And by the way, fantasy owners understand that they also invested a lot in Bryant before this season as well. He went in the first six rounds of most leagues. It's hard to drop an early pick who isn't injured. At the same time, hard to hold on to a roster spot for a player who's 58th at his position, especially in the heart of bye season. This week, I have Bryant ranked as my 49th wide receiver, which is shorthand for hard to justify having him in your lineup. Bryant has just five targets, 30 receiving yards, and 6.2 total fantasy points over the last two weeks. And now the Steelers, whose offense is becoming increasingly focused on the run, head on the road, road Ben alert, to play a Detroit pass defense that has yet to allow a wide receiver to hit 100 yards receiving this season. You know Antonio Brown's going to get his. Listen, Martavis Bryant is a talented guy, and there's always a chance that he takes one to the house. He's got that kind of talent, and they do take some deep shots to him. So if you believe Bryant will turn it around, then by all means, keep him on your bench. But understand that his breakout likely won't happen this week either because not only is it a tough matchup with the Lions, but the next week, they're on a bye. 